Hey, you're listening to Peer Light, where we explore how to become the highest version of yourself. If you struggle with believing in yourself or being happy with who you are, I can help. My name is Aili. I'm a coach and a Kundalini Yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 33. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to share with you a practice that you can do if you ever get in your own way, because I know that that's a thing for a lot of people. And it's something that's been top of mind for me lately, um, just with some of the clients I've been working with. So um, the thing we're going to do is a yogic breathing practice from the tradition of Kundalini Yoga. So this is from the teachings of Yogi Bhajan. And this practice is a good one to do if you want to strengthen your capacity to get out of your own way. So it's good to do if you have been getting in your own way or if you've been beating yourself up or if you're feeling down or negative about yourself. It's not good to do if you're driving. So if you are driving, um, come back to it at a point later when you can fully focus on the practice because you will be uh, not quite closing your eyes, but almost. And you'll also need to use both hands. And another thing to note is if you ever choose to practice this on your own, make sure you don't do it for longer than 22 minutes in one sitting. So to start, sit up nice and straight and close your eyes and take a couple of nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Just allowing yourself to relax everything that isn't needed to maintain a nice straight spine. And then bring your hands up in front of the heart and make like a thumbs up sign with both of your hands. So you're basically making a fist, but the thumbs are still pointing up. And then bring your hands together so that the fists are touching and then the sides of your thumbs are touching and have that in front of the heart. The arms are just relaxed by the sides. And then close your eyes and open them just a crack so that you're looking down through that slight opening in your eyes, down towards the tip of your nose, or maybe beyond that a little bit. And inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. And exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. And keep going. So you're going to exhale and then inhale through the mouth and then through the nose. Try to use your full breath on each inhale and exhale. So make sure that it's nice and complete. Keep looking down through that slight crack in your eyes, down towards the tip of your nose. Make sure that you're sitting up nice and straight and not rocking back and forth at all. Keep going with nice deep breaths. Out the mouth, in the mouth, and then out the nose, and in the nose. It's 
Focus on the sensation and flow of the breath. Inhale deeply and stretch your arms up above your head, reaching up as high as you can. Keep your arms up and exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And relax your arms down. Close your eyes and keep your focus inward. And check in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling. When you're ready, open your eyes and bring your attention back into the world around you. Changing your state through breathing practices such as this one can help you feel better and diffuse any self-negativity or any, it can help you break any kind of negative patterns you have in relation to yourself. Um, another thing that's really helpful and that has even more long, longer term benefits is changing your beliefs because those will ultimately change your behavior. So if you want to experience what life is like when you get out of your own way, book a free discovery call to see how we can work together and to experience some coaching. Find the link to do that in the show notes for episode 33 at purelightpodcast.com. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.